In our health alert tonight, the November election's not far off where voters will decide if recreational marijuana should be legalized here in Michigan. Now, whether or not the ballot proposal passes, the cannabis industry is certainly thriving in other states, and a surprising new group of users has sprung up, senior citizens. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parthenanda, joins us now to explore why seniors are engaging in uh, marijuana use. Absolutely, Dave. The reality is, as we get older, many people can face many health issues. And as much as I love science and the medical industry, hey, we don't always have the perfect solution to some of these challenging conditions. And what many of these seniors are seeking is relief from chronic pain, depression, anxiety, or insomnia. You know, they're looking for alternative treatments to surgery or prescription medications and painkillers like opioids. As we know very well, people can become addicted to opioids and high doses can even cause death. Yeah, so we've heard, Dr. Nandy, that there are actual buses in California that pick up and drive older folks to cannabis businesses. Is that concerning and are there risks? It's really amazing, Lena. Yeah, but the steep increase in seniors over the age of 65 looking for relief, marijuana dispensaries are catering to where the demand is. Here's what concerns me, though, Glenda. Lots of people believe that cannabis use is just plain safe, but dosing and consistency can really vary because the FDA does not regulate this industry. And so people can suffer from, in, from intense nausea, vomiting, breathing problems, and even a faster heart rate. There's also the potential for addiction if marijuana use, is used long term, and research suggests it's between 9 and 30 percent, so not a small number. All right, we're also hearing about cannabis-infused drinks or other products that can contain CBD. Can we get high from this? That's a great question, David. The simple answer is no. Remember, THC is the mind-altering ingredient that marijuana is well known for, but CBD is non-psychoactive. So if products only contain CBD, you won't get a quote-unquote high from it. Your state of mind will not change. However, if you plan to try this for health reasons, please look for licensed providers, be careful of dosing, and be sure to talk to your doctor first because marijuana and some medications just don't mix and have, can have dangerous interactions. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you so much. And if you have a question or a health concern for the good doctor, email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it to him.